Now, the head of service of the Federation, Dr. Falashadi Yemieson, says that the, the meeting of all heads of service across the 36 state is to strengthen and improve the welfare of civil servants and also enable the federal government meet its objective. The head of civil servant, who was represented by the permanent secretary, Okonko Uda, disclosed this during the 44th meeting of the National Council of Establishment in Yola. According to him, the session will consider all the memoranda submitted to the Council for Uniform Decisions and Implementations. On the part of the host, the head of service at Damawa State, Edgar Emos, welcomed the delegates to the state and assured them of all the necessary support. The federal government is here to determine the establishment and related matters of common interest. It is our, an all-inclusive approach to dealing with establishment matters because we want to ensure uniformity. The state cannot go its own way while federal is going its own way. We work together as a nation to make sure that uh, staff are fairly treated at the federal and the state level. It is in meetings like this that decisions are taken that affect the running of the civil service as a whole. For example, at what, how do you enter the civil service? If you are an accountant, a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, what is the qualification of entry into the civil service? It is meetings like this that determine it. And at what grade level? If you are employing a fresh medical doctor or a fresh engineer, at what grade level should he be? What will be the salary grade level? And how does he progress? What are the determining factors? How many years does he spend on a particular grade level before making progress? At what level does he exit? Currently, there are agitations maybe from teachers or doctors and so on, or professors that say, okay, retirement should be 65 years or 70 years and so on. It is in meetings like this that such decisions are taken. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.